Now let's configure the Android Studio. So I'll double click on this DMG file. So this is uh, the latest version as of today. And we need to drag it to the application. Say somewhere around 1.64 GP on the disk. So when you're working on uh, like iOS machine, or like Mac OS machine, you need to make sure you should have more than 10 to 20 GB of free space in order to work on Appium. Right. So it is installed in application. Now we'll go over here. We'll, we'll go to the finder and go to applications. And we'll see the Android Studio over here. Now double click and launch it. <clears throat> Open. Okay, so got something, uh, do not import settings. We'll be doing all the configuration from scratch. Uh, let's see, click on okay. So next, standard, next, and see it will be the SDK will be stored at this location. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here. We would be needing this, right? In order to set up the environment variables. So uh, let's go back over here uh, where we are setting it up. Click on finish and you can see all these things will be installed. And let's wait for some time uh, till it downloads and install everything so again uh, till the time uh, the whole process runs because it will gonna take uh, a little while so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, Pause the uh, uh, video and we're going to resume it back once uh, the complete installation is done. All right. All right. Uh, so it looks like the installation is done. Um, click on finish. Start new Android project. Next. 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 Finish. And let's see what all things we uh, can do in Android Studio. Uh, the very first thing, uh, we need to wait uh, till the time this uh, Gradle sync is completed because uh, we would be able to create virtual devices and all those things. Uh, all these options will actually gonna come inside our tools, but uh, these option will not gonna come till the time uh, the Gradle sync is completed, right? So uh, we need to wait for some time and uh, then we're going to see uh, see the things are showing up over here. But still what we are looking for, we are looking for SDK manager and we are looking for the AVD manager. So AVD is Android virtual device and SDK manager is uh, uh, the one where you're going to see all the APIs related to Android. Right, this is almost a similar configuration we have already done uh, in our uh, Windows session when we were configuring uh, Android SDK on Windows. Now we are following the same step for Mac. So let's wait for some time uh, till it completes the building process and then uh, we're gonna see all these things over here. 
Okay, the building is completed, but uh, the Gradle bit build failed. So we need not to worry about it as we are not building any application over here, right? But uh, over here, you may not see, I mean, this is not like Windows. You're not gonna see that SDK and AVD manager available over here. Uh, you're gonna see those things over here. This is your SDK manager. Click on this will launch your SDK manager and you can see what all things are installed and what are are not installed so this it is uh, not installed so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, download it so it says uh, the following component will be installed so this is uh, the one that we need to install right so downloading this api will again gonna take some time so let's let's wait for a couple more minutes it's being downloaded All right, so download uh, installation is finished. So this is installed, right? And we're gonna click on OK. And after this, we'll be uh, launching. Okay, these are uh, from my previous uh, uh, virtual devices that I have configured. Uh, I'm gonna create a new virtual device, uh, specifically, uh, which one should we create? This one, our Pixel Excel, uh, the Nexus. Okay, let's try the Nexus 6. Click on Next, and uh, we'll be using Oreo 27 download. So let's wait till it finishes the download. Again, uh, I'm gonna pause the video for some time till the time it finishes. So uh, till that time, uh, we can try configuring environment variables for uh, Android as well. So what we're gonna do, uh, if you go over here, if we type some Android commands as in ADB devices, it won't show us anything, right? So what we're gonna do, we'll go to our SDK. Uh, as I said, SDK is over here. So this is what, uh, if you go over here, you'll find your SDK. SD, inside SDK, you have tools and you have platform tool. So this is what we need to configure in environment variables. So I'll again go to terminal and say open dot bash underscore profile. And here uh, we need to set export Android underscore home to this path and then say uh, then we need to give the path to tools and the platform tools. So say uh, colon dollar android underscore home and backslash tools then colon dollar android underscore home backslash platform uh, tools right so these are the one that we need to configure save this file close it and say exit again open up terminal and say adb devices c right now no device is attached so it won't gonna show you anything but let's do apm 
doctor again and see what all things are pending see most of the things are showing us green see android home is set up adb exists android emulator exists right just cartridge uh, this will gonna need it for the ios device but we can install uh, this as well the installation is uh, very straightforward but before that uh, there are a couple more steps uh, i'm not going to do this installation right now for ios because uh, we'll first focus on android and once we are done with android we're going to follow the ios part right so i'll give you this document uh, there is complete detailed installation of uh, android and uh, ios for windows and mac uh, both os are given right so uh let us go to our android studio and see this is done click on finish so we have our uh and uh this is nexus 6 api 27 so just name it as nexus 6 new click on finish all right so let's run this and see if it shows up right so this is going to launch the nexus 6 with android 8.1 api all right so let's see still loading the voice it should be up very soon All right, Android is starting and this is uh, the Nexus, right? Okay. All right. So now if you do ADB devices again, ADB devices, and you should be able to see your device ID. All right. So in the next session, uh, we're gonna look at, we'll try to connect our real device as well. And we're gonna do a couple more configuration before we start writing some program. All right, thank you.